Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're all fine. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you for returning back here to watch my videos. I really appreciate much. But if it's your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel. So dear friends, I know you can sense or you can feel that I still have flu, but what can we do? We move. So in our today's video, we are going to be having a matchmaking show and this is going to be my last matchmaking show of the year 2023 but if i'm going to come back here talk of matchmaking that will be a video of a success love story from matchmaking and i want to use this opportunity take this opportunity <laughs> english teachers please correct me <laughs> to thank you all for supporting me in this matchmaking show, really. It was really difficult for me to start, but after starting with your support, oh my God, it has been really, really easy. And as you know, I always tell you that I'm someone who is very, very positive in everything that I do. So some people might be like, we haven't seen any success story wait guys we're gonna have lots of success stories to come from matchmaking yeah so calm down with your questions concerning this i know what i am doing okay so guys back to our today's video matchmaking show so our single lady of today comes from Kenya goes by the name of Wambui, was born and raised in the village, is the firstborn in the family of three kids or three siblings. Yeah, a bit of her life background tells us had an easy background because her parents gave them their all to take care of them. They always had food and tells us they were always at school. School, never lacked school fees they always had whatever they needed so Wambui comes from a very united family a very very good family because still now her parents are still together she told them that true love still exists which is so so good so Wambui is a graduate and pursued business administration finance option but currently working in a different field sales to be precise so guys after giving you a bit of her life background now i want to show you wambui's photos so that you as a single guy out there who is watching this matchmaking show after seeing her photos and you feel like, oh my God, I'm so attracted to her. You know, I can date a lady like this. She's my type, you know. You check me out on Instagram so that we can talk. Or on Facebook, I've got a Facebook page which goes by the name of African Bella The Real Talk. Instagram at African Bella. So that you can come. We have that good conversation about Wambui. And if you are a perfect match, I get to match you guys. So right now, I am welcoming you to see Wambui's photos. have seen Wambui's photos right now we are going to be getting into her love life a bit of it so that it helps us to understand why Wambui is here searching for love 
on youtube you know because sometimes you guys ask yourself lots of questions why would the lady go on online dating apps to search for love why would someone go on youtube to search for the perfect match why has it really reached to that extent <laughs> so from her past love relationship experience you will get answers and it also helps you who is searching for the perfect match as a single guy to understand what really happened and how is wambui when it comes to dating so that when i match you guys it's like you already know wambui isn't that good <laughs> yeah so let's get into her love life Wamboi tells us started dating at campus. <laughs> that was her first love. This guy was Kenyan from her tribe. Everything was super, super good when they started dating. You know, they were so much in love with each other. The relationship lasted for three years. Everything was moving so smoothly at first. But later on, there's some situation that became too heavy for her to handle and to be specific, trust issues. And then Wambui decided to call that relationship off. But attention, <laughs> told us there was no drama. It did not end really badly. They remained friends. And whenever Wambui had a problem, this ex-boyfriend could help her. And when he could have a problem, Wambui could help the ex-boyfriend. They really created a very genuine friendship. So yeah, the first relationship ended like that. And then COVID came. So when COVID came, Wambui had to go to her parents' place and tells us her dad is a dad that is too protective. <laughs> so wanted everything to, you know, calm down, <laughs> be a good girl. <laughs> and as she was at her parents' house, could help her dad in his small business. Yeah, it kept on like that until Wambui found a job in a certain government project, started working, and as she was working there, found another Kenyan guy that started hitting on her, and eventually they decided to start dating. So they started dating, but Wambui tells us it took her so long to point out his toxic and narcissistic traits if she could ever raise a point this guy could twist it to make her feel guilty oh my god one thing i can't stand in a guy <laughs> if you could ask me bella start with that one thing that you can't tolerate in a relationship i will tell you i can't tolerate a guy who is toxic i can't guys i cannot i really really hate toxic guys so Wambui tells us the guy was really toxic and sometimes he could use the things that Wambui confided in him against her oh my god which is really really wrong if a guy really loves you will never use your point of weakness or will never use the secrets that you told him against you never guys when you see that in a man run if you're a guy watching this and you are like that you're not a guy to date honestly <laughs> and don't be interested in my one boy please please <laughs> We want a healthy guy and I know if you are a healthy guy, a good guy, a husband material, you are going to agree with me. Another thing that builds a very healthy relationship is communication. And while communicating, both of you should have a say, you know, <laughs> a decision to make in your relationship note that it is only one person if it is a lady then it's a lady that commands it's a lady that is right all the time no it does not work like that that's not a healthy relationship if it's the guy then it's the guy that commands then it's the guy that is always right then it's this guy that will tell you when you talk shut up you don't make sense <laughs> 
<laughs> you're stupid. Yes, yeah, some guys will tell you straight on your face that you're stupid. Just shut up. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. You know, if it is to that extent, that's a toxic relationship, guys. You have to wake up and leave that guy. If you are a guy, you have to wake up and leave that lady because love is two-sided <laughs> not only when it comes to taking the goodies no guys <laughs> even when it comes to making decisions even when it comes to giving an opinion yes and sometimes yes you can have a different opinion but that shouldn't make you start hating each other or insulting each other not at all respect each other and meet halfway or agree to disagree <laughs> in a good way okay so with Wambui she had no opinion and tells us this guy was so good at his manipulating game and Wambui was so blinded by the fact that they could have some few constructive conversation apart from love and whenever she could want to leave this guy he would come back appear all good reformed <laughs> <laughs> and those tricks could work on Wambui, could forgive him. But if you're here watching this, please don't be like Wambui. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've been telling you that if it is his character, the way he is will never change. No matter how many times he comes back to tell you that I have changed, he will never change. So it is up to you as a woman if you are ready to stay with a guy who is toxic or not. Yeah, but thinking that that guy will change and stop being toxic, that will never happen. <laughs> yes, guys, I've seen lots of guys who find that he was married to a lady and then the guy was really toxic to that lady. Then the lady walks away, dates another lady. Do not think that <laughs> he won't be toxic to this new lady. No, he will still be toxic and even the worst might happen i've witnessed things happening that is why if you are a lady watching this matchmaking show it's important among of the questions you are going to ask a guy you are chatting to let it be on online dating apps or in real life when you start getting to know each other and maybe you like the guy ask him a bit of his past love relationship experience if you get a chance to know his relatives, people close to him, start making a bit of an investigation of what really happened in his past love relationship experience. Not everyone will tell you the truth, but I know exists that one person <laughs> that will tell you how that guy was and that will help you so, so much. That's why again, you are not supposed to rush into marriage get to know a guy better because really getting married to a guy who is toxic is like digging your own grave yeah because that's hell life so yes guys this guy managed to manipulate wambui for a very long period of time but eventually wambui woke up and decided to walk away from this toxic guy. So guys, after Wambui breaking up with that toxic guy, tried yes to go out with some guys, but tells us she really never connected with them. And also found out that majority of the guys were after sex, yes. Also admits that in some situations, she messed up herself because failed to differentiate a genuine guy and a guy who is acting. I can totally understand her. As an online dating coach or as someone who always deals with relationships, I can tell you that Wambui is a lady, when she falls in love, she gives her all, trusts a guy a hundred percent, she gives her a hundred. <laughs> and when she gets betrayed, when a guy betrays her, it hurts her a lot and at some point it affected her because if that guy who told her loved her very much will marry her promised her a lot and gained her trust then betrayed her 
as a human being, as a woman, you know, she sits down and be like, whom can I trust then? If that guy was able to do that. That is why at some point she started messing up, failing to differentiate this guy is a genuine guy has genuine intentions and this one is just an actor it's just a player who is here you know to play games on me and later hurt me but i think guys we have talked of this do not let your past stop you from searching for love do not let your past make you hate all men because not all men are bad <laughs> We have good, good ones and bad ones. It's up to you to differentiate. <laughs> the secret is there. So yes, after going out with some few guys and nothing was happening, Wambui decided to take a break. First to find herself <laughs> a little bit and later on decided to join Tinder and Badu, but toss us joined Tinder and Badu just for fun, actually. <laughs> so after joining those two dating apps, was lucky, <laughs> found someone on Tinder, established a relationship with a guy on Tinder and this guy was a DJ, but she accepted him despite the stereotype <laughs> behind DJs, yes. So they dated, everything was good until this DJ borrowed money from her <laughs> and then failed to pay. <laughs> and this tells us Wambui is so generous <laughs> and trusts people a lot. <laughs> she admits this too, that she's not so good with the limits. And when she trusts, she really trusts has lost lots of people because of trust. Because that thing of trusting someone, it's not a negative thing. It's a good thing if people don't take advantage of you. So me and Wambui, we still need to work on this. Because I'm here to guide her too. Even if you are here as a single guy, you get interested in Wambui, just know that there is Bella behind her <laughs> to guide her through. So you won't be able to use her point of weakness against her <laughs> yeah so let's continue so she had to break up with that dj remained single till now so she also gave a bit of her experience on online dating apps and i would like to read it for you what she wrote to me <laughs> yeah so Online dating is just an experience on its own, honestly. I guess 80% of people there are pirates. I have been on OkCupid, okay F-Dating, and Afro Introductions recently, but I haven't gotten far with anyone yet. Guys want pictures of booties. <laughs> Some are there for business. Some days ago, this guy texted me on Afro introductions claiming he is male but female and wants a dominant woman who will not use him for money. Somehow, I concluded that a good number of people are on dating apps to pass time as others look for hookups. I'm bad at starting conversations, but with time, I get better after use to the person somehow. I check in from time to time, reply to messages, and forget apps exist. Last time, I was really active when I had a flowing conversation with someone. Do I want to get a partner? But I don't feel the pressure to. Just like everyone else, I still have to figure my life away from relationships. So that has been Wambui's challenge on online dating apps. But you guys at on online dating apps, you know, <laughs> these are the challenges you come across. And even those who found love on online dating apps, they went through same, same challenges. So this shouldn't stop you from searching. Just know that it is part of online dating world. <laughs> you just need to know how to differentiate, how to filter out 
those guys that are players, you know, this is going to ghost me. This is looking for a dominant woman. I'm not a dominant woman. <laughs> you know, filter, filter, filter until you find the right person. So guys, Wambui keeps on telling us why it has been difficult for her to find love in real life. Yes, we have known some things that, you know, have been a challenge for her to find love in real life. So let's get to know other things. And I'm going to be reading for you again. My main challenges in finding love is most men are sex oriented. Also, I'm not petite or curvy or light skinned, which is almost what most Kenyan men want. I've heard this from other women on your channel too. And it's somehow a thing. <laughs> also, having dated and had good friends, I can't settle anything that seems mediocre. <laughs> so we talked about the physical aspect when it comes to online dating, when it comes to dating in general. Dear beautiful ladies, love yourself the way you are and never be like oh my god i'm not finding anyone maybe because of the way i look no trust me exist that guy that will love you that will appreciate the way you look that will tell you you are the most beautiful woman in the whole world you know in his eyes so forget about those who are busy looking for ladies with big nyash if god did not bless you with a big behind it's okay there is that guy who is not even interested in a lady with a big behind yeah like here in italy for example <laughs> if someone has got a big behind it's not a big deal at all at all <laughs> here what most men like is if you have got you know most men, not all, if you've got big boobs, you are blonde, you know, blue eyes, <laughs> not the behind compared to my African brothers. So keep loving yourself, keep taking care of yourself. You are beautiful girl the way you are and unique. So to the question of love, I asked her, what is love? How does she define love? And this is her response. Love is support. Love is holding each other down. Love is being ready to change habits of you that your partner finds offensive. Love is accommodating your partner as they also accommodate you since you all are clearly from different backgrounds. Love is not letting minor occasions blur the major good parts of others. Love is kind and respectful. Love is sure a lot of things and this is just but a few. I believe love makes you feel appreciated, elevated, seen, accommodated and all these make you comfortable. Wow. So to another question, are you interested in interracial dating? This is her response. I'm interested in interracial dating, but not restricted to it, Bella. I've been in Mombasa for some months and I have interacted with few white guys. Most seem really loving and respectful compared to a number of guys we get to encounter. I believe I have a lot of love to give and I wouldn't give it to the wrong people. You are right, girl. Yes. <laughs> if you know you are a very good woman, you have got a good heart, you are a wife material, you know, a woman to marry, then, dear sisters, give your heart to the right person. Yeah. Don't just let people step on you just because you have got a good heart. So she continues, and I am not perfect. Also, also most look like they clearly know what they want. Talking of white guys, and when unlike men here who will be chasing every Anyango, Akinyi, and Wanjiku in a span of minutes, not all though, just most. <laughs> 
you right girl not all <laughs> <laughs> some are good, some are really, really bad. They'll be chasing any woman they see. <laughs> so to another important question, it is important to you as a single guy watching this. Things that one boy cannot tolerate in a man. So let's hear her response. On things I can't tolerate in a man, majority is disrespect lies and of course someone who looks down and demands others since they feel like they aren't in the same level so those were the things that wambui cannot tolerate in a man now let's get to know wambui's character as a woman <laughs> how is she because i know if you're a guy watching this a single guy watching this there are some things or there are some characters you would like in your woman and so far maybe you think is good all boxes tick 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 now let's go to her character so about wambui right about me people tell me i am kind loving compassionate and empathetic a people pleaser which i have been unlearning good girl <laughs> stop pleasing people stop being too nice we're gonna work on this privately <laughs> i know if someone is good you can't change her to be a bad person so as a guy watching this don't get worried and be like oh my god <laughs> So she is unlearning not to be people's pleaser. Of course, if you are a good guy, she's gonna please you. <laughs> yeah, so let's continue. <laughs> I'm more introverted, I'll say, but it is surely changes, sometimes depending on environment. I enjoy listening to local music, but that does not mean that I am only restricted to the same. I'm comfortable spending time alone when there is no one. So you are likely to find me taking solo walks, watching, reading, etc. To her ideal man. <laughs> so that you get to conclude if Wombui is your perfect match or not. Let's find out. My ideal man is someone who is definitely loving, caring, supportive, honest, and a good communicator. Because I sometimes struggle with that when i'm not comfortable with someone so that is wambui's ideal man so to the religion matter which is also important in a relationship wambui tells us or tells you as a single guy that regarding religion i am a christian and i would appreciate someone who would accommodate me as i am Allow me to follow my religion cause I honestly aren't changing. Better if it was a Christian cause we will somehow be on the same page. I grew up in a Christian home and most values instilled in me are guided by the same. I believe in God and I have moments when I pray and it all comes together so I don't have a reason not to trust God. So I think here you understand. It's not that Wambui is like, no, I strictly want a Christian guy, but tells you that you have to accommodate her. You have to accept her with her religion. Let her pray. Let her remain. Let her remain as a Christian. But if you are a Christian, then that's a plus because <laughs> you're both Christians. So to her best qualities as a woman. My best quality as a woman will be being accommodative and willing to meet others halfway. This is so, so important. I told you guys, if you are in a relationship, yes, at some point you have to make some decisions. So you guys need to be ready to meet halfway. And Wambui has got this best quality. <laughs> Tells you is willing to meet halfway. I won't lie, I'm the best in cooking or doing things, but definitely I like learning a new skill 
or two when I am with someone. So last but not least, her expectations in a relationship. This is also important, especially if you are searching for an interracial relationship as a guy watching this. It is good for you to know what the lady expects in a relationship so that you can compare and see if you guys match or not. My expectations in a relationship would majorly include calmness and peace. Be able to support each other through stuff. Being African, we definitely have tasks and responsibilities attached to different genders. But with evolution, we realize this change too. And you can't expect so much from your partner apart from their best self. This is so true. If we both give our best in all of it, we will come out really strong, content, and happy, I believe. Oh my God, this young lady is very, very intelligent. If you are a single guy watching this, honestly, I'm not trying to market her or anything because this is how she is. Everything that I have told you or everything I've been reading for you, this is how Wambui is. If you are going to be a perfect match, be rest assured that you have got a good wife, really. So guys, to the countries of her preference, because there is no crime in having a preference. So she prefers her match to come from Germany, Norway, Poland, Switzerland, Sweden, USA, Canada, Australia, Italy, and Denmark. But I am adding that even if you're not coming from the countries that I mentioned and you feel like Wambui is your perfect match, do not hesitate to check me out on my Instagram account, which goes by the name of African Bella, which goes by the name of African Bella, and on my Facebook page that goes by African Bella The Real Talk, just like this channel. Come, let us talk. If you are a perfect match and you're not from that mentioned country, why not? I am going to match you guys and you begin your love journey. And before I end this video, I would like to wish my beautiful young sister, Wambui, all the best in your search for your perfect match. Guys, let us wish her all the best in her search. If you have watched this matchmaking show till now, be blessed guys i appreciate much please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video i'd like to know please watch my other videos too they are super super good you are going to learn a lot subscribe please if you have not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for <laughs> Join the family and thank you so much for subscribing. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.